Uh, well, there's some changing positions. Uh, yeah, we name a squad of 23, and as far as I'm concerned, it's a squad of 23, um, and that's what we're looking at. Um, there's some difference in starting and finishing, depending on what we think the game's, how the game's going to go. And then Tommy Freeman's come in for Jack, um, and Jack will finish for us. Um, we were pleased with Jack last week, but just feel Tommy Freeman's coming in there's some form. Uh, he's got good pace, and uh, he'll add something to the team. Man who wins his 50th England cap, just how pleased are you to, for him to reach that achievement after what's been a really challenging few years? Yeah, it's been a difficult time for him, mate. Um, and the pleasing thing for us, he's now had three weeks where he's trained every, every training session for us. And yesterday we did quite a tough session and he got through everything. So really pleased about his progress and the progress of the team. You know, I think this is another opportunity for the team to step up. We started slowly against Argentina, weren't at our best, and each game we've got a little bit better. Jack Van Portvick starts again. How's he responded to the All Blacks game? Uh, no, really good, mate. You know, that's a fantastic game for a young player. That's a real learning uh, game, and he's learned a lot from that game, and he'll take that on to, to this week. Were you tempted to take him out of the firing line? No, no, not at all. Jamie George gets the nod over Luke Cowan Dickey. What was the thinking there? Uh, again, just change your roles, mate. One starts, one finishes. And Alex Coles didn't feature at all last weekend, but starts at flanker. Yeah, no, we're really happy with the way he went in the first game. Played him off the bench in the second game. Thought he needed a bit of a uh, recovery. And now he's ready to go at six again. We'll need three jumpers against South Africa. Um, Mako starts, I think, his first game for England since the 2021 Six Nations. Why have you gone for him over Ellis Genge? Uh, again, it's just a change of role, mate. We feel Mako will be good starting. And, you know, you look at, at who potentially can come on for us in the second half. Genge, Luke Cowan, Dickey and Will Stewart. That's a powerful front row. No Rassi Erasmus at Twickenham this weekend. How will that affect the Springboks? Well, he might come in the laundry box, mate. <laughs> I think that's been done before, hasn't it? It used to be Tottenham manager. Hey, not Spurs, we can never do that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sure he'll get into there somewhere, mate. Do you think he's right to receive it? A... Uh, look, I'm not going down that track. The only thing I, I, I'd say is that, yeah, we've got to respect the referees, we've got to look after the referees, they're an important part of our game. Um, and so what if, what's happened's happened. So uh, look, we're playing the world champions. So, you know, they're world champions for a reason. They're a very good, good, tough side. Uh, they compete hard in the key contest areas. We know they go hard at the, the set piece, they go hard in the air. Um, and we've got to make sure we keep our concentration in all those areas and then we'll get opportunities to attack them. And when we get the opportunities to attack them, we've got to be, we've got to be executing our plays. And finally for me, how significant would it be as the final match of 2022 to go out on a high? Uh, it's another game, you know. It's another game, it's an important game. We want to make sure we light up Twickenham. Uh, you know, the, the response of the fans in the last 10 minutes of the game last week was fantastic. I don't think I've ever, ever experienced the atmosphere like that. So we want to we want to do that again and give them a great experience. And, and for the team, it's about just keep building. You know, we're building towards the World Cup uh, this autumn. Every game, as I said, we've got a little bit better and we want to get better this week. Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. James, yeah, we'll come to you, Nick. Eddie, um, in terms of putting Alex Coles back in, um, I know you talked about needing three liner options, but is that as much about um, the physicality element of what the Springboks bring as well as the um, technical line out element? No, it's important to the line out. You know, each game is different and we need, particularly in that sixth role, that role changes from week to week, um, what we need. And this week we feel we need a, th a third genuine jumper. And how much for Alex Coles' development will opportunities like this? Well, he's playing, you know, he's playing against some of the best players in the world, you know. Um, whilst he directly won't be against Ed Sabeth, he'll, he'll play against him. And they're great learning opportunities. You know, we've been really pleased by his progress. He was someone that wasn't in our immediate picture when we first started Autumn, but because of injuries and, and, and various other issues, he's, he's made his way into the squad and he's done really well and, and now puts himself in reckoning for a World Cup spot. Eddie, what makes um, Ellis a better finisher this week and Mako a better starter this week in terms of, in terms of what's coming from the Springboks? Why, why is it that way around this week specifically? Gut feeling. 